guys welcome back to my channel i'm trying to fix it right now okay we're going to oh okay got oh wait that's too far okay guys welcome back to my channel it is day 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 i'm here today i'm going to be doing a wrap up all the shows and movies i watched to, to it. Oh. All the shows and movies I watched this month. I'm just going to be telling you all the movies um, and shows I watched this month and what I rated them, what I liked about them, what I disliked about them, and just the synopsis so you know what it's about. Here's my layout that I'm going to be reading from and I'm just going to be telling you one by one. I'm not going to be telling you them in order because I don't remember them in order. I just jot them down. But yes, let's just get started. The first movie I'm going to be talking about is Alice in Wonderland. I'm also going to be putting a picture of the movie so you kind of know, like you get an idea. It's the live action of Alice in Wonderland. Um, I gave it a three- I gave it three- anus. <laughs> I gave it three stars. Oh my god, my anus! I gave it three stars. I did like it, but I just didn't really enjoy it. Oh and, my god! And it was- to be honest, it was kind of boring. Check my anus! For me, it deserved a lower um, rating, but I gave it a 3. To be honest, the only reason I watched it is because my bae, Johnny Depp, was in it. It was good, but something about it was just boring. I don't know, I just didn't really enjoy it. A lot of people love Alice in Wonderland, but I kind of don't. I don't know, but I gave it a 3. I'm not going to give you a synopsis because you should know what Alice in Wonderland is about. If you don't, like... But yeah, that's Why the first so movie. Okay guys, the next movie I watched was my favorite of all time, one of my favorites of all time, Edward Scissorhands, starring Johnny Depp. I love Johnny Depp. If you know me, you know I love Johnny Depp, but Johnny Depp is definitely one of them. I love him so much. He plays so good in it. Like, what? I gave this, obviously, a 5 out of 5 stars. Um, I've watched this, like, several times. I think it was, like, my 10th... <laughs> it's, like, my 10th time watching this. Um, but, basically, if you don't know what it's about, it's about this... I wouldn't necessarily call it a human, but this dude, um, he was built by a scientist, um, inventor, not scientist. Basically, he has scissors for hands, like blades for hands. His scientist died. Inventor, not scientist. This lady, this Avon lady, she goes up to the tower where he lives. She goes in when she's not supposed to, but basically, it's just about finding friendship and like family bonds. And I feel like the message to take from the story is don't judge a book by its cover. Carla! Don't judge a book by its cover because Edward did look like... I'm gonna put a synopsis right here also because I can't really explain. I can't really explain well, but if, if you don't get what it's about, I'm gonna put a synopsis here. Because I can't explain well, but I'll just put it right here. I watched Toy Story 1 and I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. The reason was because... I just I, I was forcing myself to watch all four Toy Story movies um, I said this in one of my vlogs my reading vlogs that I was trying to binge watch all four um, Toy Stories movies and I just wasn't in the mood so I ended up forcing myself and I didn't end up liking it and I also ended up not watching the rest of the four movies but Toy Story basically is about all these toys that can talk and interact with each other wow. uh, basically they just go through like there's a but like in each movie there's always something that happens or either a toy that goes missing and they're just basically the whole plot like they're just looking for that toy like in Toy Story one Buzz Lightyear is introduced Woody didn't like him so he so he pushes him out the window um, not meaning to I think he didn't mean to but he pushes him out the window and basically ends up going missing so basically the whole thing is Woody and Buzz Lightyear trying to get back home because they accidentally get into and then just oh it's just yeah here's also a synopsis if you don't understand the way I explain it I'm sorry I just don't do very good when it comes to explaining the next movie I watched is I see you which is a horror movie I gave it three stars it was really good but I just I don't know I like I, I've seen better movies but basically, it's a horror movie based on this rich family. They move into this place. I feel like I think they've been there for a while, and then stuff around the house start disappearing. Like pictures from picture frames start disappearing. Like silverware starts disappearing, 
and basically weird stuff is happening around the house but they're just a really good twist I definitely recommend watching it I don't want to say any more because I can't say any more without giving it away and I don't want to give it away it has a really cool twist you don't you like I like it because you don't understand the twist until the last minute of the story which is really unique but yeah I definitely recommend you watch it um, it's not scary after watching it it's not paranormal you just understand after watching it it's just good the next movie I watched was the half of it which is on Netflix basically it's about this girl that um, gets paid from her classmates to do their assignments one day this dude I forgot his name but he comes up to her asking if she could write a note for someone that he likes at first she declines it but then she helps him so basically she writes the notes for him while he pays him her it just goes back and forth it's kind of like like sierra burgess is, is a loser type of um vibe she's writing to this person that she thinks is someone else when it's actually somebody different yeah i loved it i gave it a four stars um i enjoyed it but it wasn't the best movie i've watched also it's like just so many cute things happen. But yeah, here's a synopsis if you did not understand what I said. I also watched Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I gave it five stars. I really, really enjoyed it. Way better than the other movies. For some reason, I did not fall asleep. Like, I was very interested in, like, I was into the movie that I did not fall asleep. I'm not gonna explain what Harry Potter is, but basically it's about Harry uh, finding out the, this new, um, new person gets hired. He's like, I think it's a superintendent, but it's what's oh my god how did i forget her name professor umbridge i was talking about but here's the synopsis but basically yeah i don't really want to explain it because it's like in the middle of a movie series so like it's kind of weird i also watched it chapter two i gave it four stars because i definitely loved the first one better just because of the better cast i love the kid cast more i also think they did really really well on getting the second i think they really did well with making the chapter i think they really did well with making the chapter two cast they really really look very similar to the kids and it's kind of weird it's like let's just talk about real quick on how they did a good job like what as soon as you see the characters in chapter two you're like i automatically know who it is like you don't even have to be introduced to them which i really really like they did really really well with picking people because a lot of movies they pick someone to look like the person as they're older and they don't even look anything like them i gave yeah i gave it a four star i'm just gonna explain the synopsis of chapter one because chapter two is just basically the same thing but like in adult form basically it is um a horror movie written it's an adaption to the book by stephen king um and basically it's about these group of kids that start noticing weird and basically it's a it's a clown named pennywise terrorizing this group of kids so those are all the movies now i'm gonna move on to shows that i watched the first show i want to talk about is stranger things so i started season one at the beginning of may and i watched all three seasons this um this month which i did not plan on doing i planned on watching season three like in june but i ended up watching it all in 24 hours season three basically stranger things it's hard to explain because stranger things is not about one specific thing it's like about all a bunch of different things Basically it's sci-fi and horror and it gives you like Stephen King vibes. Basically it's about like this girl named Eleven, she has powers and she uses her powers to defeat people, defeat, not people, creatures. So I just definitely recommend you watch it. I gave that 5 out of 5 stars. I kind of regret watching all three seasons in one month but that was the best show I watched this month or ever. Honestly I loved it so much. Uh, what I loved about Stranger Things is that the world was so well developed each character did something and it would connect to something that would happen like you know what i mean like they wouldn't put something in the show if it didn't make an impact in what was going to happen and which i actually really really liked that and also the fact that they created a whole new world and they just it was so well done i like i oh my god i cannot say how well done this like the world just <laughs> <laughs> the next show I watched was Hannah Montana so basically I didn't really really watch this show I only watched like three episodes but I'm gonna include it because I did watch some um, I watched this um, to go to bed a few nights it was actually I laughed a lot because I liked making fun of the show as rude as that sounds I just I don't know I like watching childhood shows that I used to watch and then making fun of the stupid things the characters do 
But basically, if you don't know what Hannah Montana is about, it's about this girl named Miley. Um, and she's basically two people in one. And she's like Miley, so, like Miley. <laughs> I almost got killed on camera. I gave it five stars because I enjoyed it. Like, I enjoyed it. I didn't really critique the show. I didn't rate it based on its best abilities. I just rated it because I enjoyed it. The last show I watched was Doc McStuffins. Okay, so don't make fun of me. I watch, like, the Disney Junior shows, but that's because that wakes me up. Like, I watch it. I used to watch it at 6 a.m., but I don't wake up at 6 a.m. anymore. I watch Doc McStuffins because it's a childhood show. I used to watch it as a child, and I love watching it in the mornings because it kind of gets you up. Like, when I was little, I'd watch it in the morning when it would play on Disney Channel. I don't know. I just love it. It's very comforting. Uh, if you don't know what Doc McStuffins is about, basically, it's about this little girl who talks to her stuffed animals. That sounds sad. I'm sorry. But it's about this girl that talks to her stuffed animals, and she wants. To, I think she wants to be a doctor when she grows up because she basically takes care of pets. She fixes pets. I said pets. She fixes toys. Like, she's a toy doctor. I love it. It's so cute. Here's the synopsis because I can't explain crap. Um, I gave it a five stars because I enjoyed it. Again, I wasn't critiquing it. That is all of the movies and shows that I watched during May. If you want me to do another video in at the end of June on all the movies and shows I watched in June, let me know. I'll definitely do it if you want. Comment down below if you also have any other video suggestions. So yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching and. See you in my next video.